Hey guys, my name is Suti and welcome to this insane overpowered exploit tutorial. I score about 30 to 40% of my goals with one single method, which is what I'm gonna show you in this video. The no touch dribbling sprinting boost. This move is gonna get you one thing, which are goals and a lot of them over and over. First I'm gonna explain you how to do it and the great thing is that it is very easy to do. Then I'm gonna show you the best ways of using it, for example zigzag sprinting. Let's go guys. Probably the most efficient way of using this move is to go directly to the goal. But if you look at the note that's dribbling, it's so slow with this big feint. So how do we use it that quickly? Well the thing is we do not want the, the, the feints. We do not want the feints. So how can we solve that? We have to tap super quickly the L1 or LB button. So that's the trick to get rid of the feints. Super quickly tap the L1 or LB button. And after that, just change direction and sprint. It's that easy. So first, very quickly, very, very quickly tap the L1 or LB button. Therefore we will not get those slow feints which you saw in the first section and then after you tapped it so release it already and then you change direction and you keep holding the sprint button so first tap it very quickly then change your direction and you can just get one on one with the goalkeeper so uh, easily and this move is just gonna get you goals over and over so it's very easy to do only tap the L1 or LB button very quickly tap it tap it right now and then after that uh, change direction quickly and you're gonna get easy goals all over the place you have seen in my Road to Glory series how often I use this move to get those easy goals. But in the next section we are actually gonna check out how we can use this move for zigzag sprinting as well. And this clip is also from my Road to Glory series. Look at the double ball where we get the goal in there after we set the, that thing up with the Nota Dribbling Acceleration. You can also use the Nota Dribbling Acceleration a couple of times in a row to do some zigzag dribbling and confuse the opponent to the maximum. This is also one of the best ways of using it. Go up, go down, go up. The opponent can't follow this quick direction changes anymore and trust me it's just very hard to defend zigzag dribbling we all probably know that zigzag dribbling is very hard to defend and if you use it in this way with no touch dribbling accelerations it's going to be even harder for the opponent to defend because this is the best way actually to use some zigzag dribbling with the no touch uh, dribbling sprinting boost indeed and we can use it also even if the opponent is defending quite well he's defending quite well he still has to back off and even then we can still get the goal in there you can also use the zigzag dribbling to really get one on one with the goalkeeper. Look at Modric here, three, four times in a row actually we get one on one, but that is a terrible miss actually. Of course, we can also use it the other way around to go left and then go right again. We can also use it in this way to get into the box. So not only up and down, but also left to right, like Modric right here. We get into the zone. This time the cross failed. We are a bit, little bit unlucky there, but here with Benzema we get some more luck. Left, right, left again, and we use a ball on top of that to confuse the opponent. And in the end, it's gonna get us a goal again. The no touch uh, sprinting boost is also very good to use after a skill move. After you do a skill move you're usually quite slow. So we do this scoop turn here and directly after that we use the no touch dribbling sprinting boost. This move works very well after a fake shot. Trust me really try it. After a fake shot right here. Fake shot to the sprinting boost. After your fake shot or after any skill move basically you're often very slow. And use this move to get rid of that. And even in zero degrees it will work as well. So you just do a regular skill move and after it exit it with the no touch dribbling sprinting boost to get rid of the downside of skill moves because you're often very slow after a skill move. You can also combinate it with a ball roll right here, ball roll to the right, and then quickly a sprinting boost to the left. Very hard to defend for the opponent. And after the body feint turn, we got the goal in there indeed. Now the setup. If we are gonna confuse the opponent like this, we first do very slowly change direction to the right, but all we do is basically set up the nota dribbling acceleration. So that is basically the setup. First we do we make the opponent believe we make a mistake, and then quickly we do the acceleration to the left again. So we first we slow down but we can also set it up with the nota dribbling so just a note uh, just a double nota dribbling acceleration of course but i really love to just slow down make the opponent believe you made a mistake we slowed down and went a little up there with bill the opponent talked what is he doing he's playing so slowly is he making a mistake and then suddenly we accelerate again with the nota dribbling acceleration and we get one on one again and get the goal in there we can also use the no touch dribbling acceleration to simply cut inside and we use it another time to attack the gap. It's basically the best way of using it is to attack gaps 
and to attack space. So that also means we can cut inside if there is space to do that, of course. Great counter goal. Do you remember this goal from my Road to Glory series? That was a great goal right there. But let's have another look at cutting inside with the no touch dribbling first to beat the opponent with my easy goal trick. And look at that sudden acceleration. We actually do it two times in a row right there with Bale cutting inside indeed Benzmeer with the Burber Spin. And then we click quickly cut inside. And this is another way of using the no touch dribbling. You have to check out my other no touch dribbling tutorial to see how to do that last move right there with Benzema. But here again on the wing, look at that sudden acceleration. We cut inside to get the ball to the Nilo. We get the goal there indeed again. You also get a great sprinting boost if you do not change direction. Look at Hamas here who is about to gonna do the sprinting boost. But we just do it straight forward. We do the sprinting boost and the great tip is to use this after a fake shot. If you do not want to change direction after a fake shot but just go straightly forward then still use the sprinting boost. You do not uh, necessarily have to change direction. But look at the space here with Bale. We're not just gonna sprint in that regularly. We're gonna attack space every single time from now on after this video with the no touch dribbling sprinting boost. It's gonna work way better than regular sprinting into it the best thing of using this move is just look where the space is and then accelerate into the space with the no touch dribbling boost you have to look for space or for gaps in the defense to go through but generally here with Modric as well we went to the bottom right and then we're gonna attack the space with the no touch dribbling sprinting boost and not just run into that space regularly it's also a great move to attack the back line, not only at corner kicks, the first examples are gonna be a lot of corner kicks, but generally this move is just great for attacking space, and if there's space at the back line, it's gonna be great to attack the back line with this move as well. But now after this, we're gonna see some examples where we do not use it after a corner kick, and then after we attack the back line, we can often cut back inside, usually passing it across the goal for easy tap-ins is great, but in Division 1, opponents are very good at defending, so we use it to attack the back line, but the opponent is good at defending, and then quickly cut inside back again, Here we use face up dribbling to perform that but we can use any move basically to attack first we attack the back line and after that because division one players are quite good at defending we attack the back line but he's good at defending then quickly we cut back in the back inside after that and we get the goal in that in there nevertheless even though he was good at defending last example we cut we attack the back line then quickly cut the back inside and we get the goal there again that is gonna be the end of this tutorial guys, I hope you enjoyed, if you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. My name is Suti, see you next time.